team headed back south to the outskirts of Montevideo, where they visited one of Uruguay's most prominent equestrian establishments. The National Army Riding School have, like Oriana, been honoured by the FEI. At the 2013 gala, they were the recipients of the Federation's Development Award for their work with equine therapy and rehabilitation. The school was founded in 1948 to improve equestrian instruction in the Army, but its activities quickly diversified. Along with the organisation of international and national equestrian events, both welfare and instruction, the school now plays an important role in social integration programmes. It's affiliated to the National Centre for Equestrian Development and Rehabilitation, or Senefre as it's known, and offers its resources and facilities to youngsters with various psychological and physical disabilities free of charge. The FEI award was a huge milestone for the military, as Major Gustavo Dos Santos explains. When we received the news the riding school had won, it was a source of great pride for the army, the riding school and Uruguay. We're the first country in America to receive this prize from the FEI. It was a source of great pride that our work was recognized all over the world and to know that what we're doing is on the right tracks. The riding school has different working areas. There's plenty of recreational space outside where the participants and the horses can enjoy the environment and a covered arena which allows therapy work to continue in all seasonal weather. It's important to note that this therapy is provided completely free to society. They have to comply with the admissions protocol to access the therapy without charge. But it's completely free and the army makes their men and resources available to work with disabled people. Karina Arieta is one of the instructors at the rehabilitation centre who works closely with the military and the patients. Today you have seen a, a typical first day of the, of the work, you know. We're coming from holidays, um, children, professors and horses, and uh, we start slowly to work, you know, because you refresh all the work you, you used to do. And horses too, because they have been on holidays, so we need to work with them again. And the other group, uh, you have seen a, a little child, with uh, they, she has autism, okay? Uh, so we work uh, the contact with the uh, horses in the different uh, situations and different um, levels, you know? The youngsters experience various sensations when around horses. Touch, smell, temperature and eye contact can have positive effects. The horses are, and the grooming, all the things, all the work you do under the horse, uh, help us to get in touch with them. And, and they accept us, and it's it's a, a really a really important process. They learn here how to take contact with other children and the professors and the the animals that makes the the, the most important uh, part. Uh, and then they take all the things that they learn to their school or their neighborhood or or in, in, in even in in their family. Over the years, the work of the centre has grown in reputation and in the number of patients attending the therapy courses. In our centre we have uh, 137 children of all ages. Uh, the youngest is th um, three and a half years old and the oldest is 37 years old. And we work with, with patients uh, that suffer all kinds of, of handicaps. There are now 36 centres in Uruguay that have stemmed from this original Senefre base. It's a unique situation for a country's army to be providing this service to the civilian population. It's a really, a really important mission that the army has and it's through the all, all political ideals, you know? It doesn't matter colours or ideals or or whatever, the, the, the army gives uh, this service to the society, and no, no matter what. Our outlook for the future is to continue working and equipping more centers in the country so that more people can benefit from what the noble horse can provide.
It was a heartwarming experience to witness firsthand all the staff here at the centre playing such an important role in enriching the lives of those less fortunate than ourselves.